I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making peanut butter crispy cups. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. If you're a regular viewer, and I hope you are, you'll know that I love doing variations of the classics. The other day, I asked myself what a peanut butter cup would be like if the top was similar to a Nestle's Crunch Bar. I answered myself saying that I thought it would be pretty awesome. Of course, I agreed with myself, as I usually do, and tonight we put that theory to the test. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own peanut butter crispy cups, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I'm using one and a half cups of chocolate, one quarter cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of powdered sugar, one quarter teaspoon of salt, one quarter tablespoon of corn syrup, and one half cup of chocolate crispy rice. I'm also using some bowls, a silicone mold, a cooling rack, a spatula, a spoon, an offset spatula, a cutting board, and a sheet of Silpat. Okay, let's make some candy. Temper or melt the chocolate, put the mold on a rack, and fill the cavities all the way to the top. Flip the mold over and let the chocolate drain out onto the silpat. Tap the bottom of the mold to help the chocolate find its way out. Tidy up the mold, then leave the chocolate in the mold and on the silpat to set. When the chocolate is set, combine the peanut butter, powdered sugar, salt, and corn syrup. Then give it a good mix. Spoon some of the mixture into a chocolate cup, keeping it below the top of the cup. You can use the back of a spoon to press it down if necessary. Repeat with the rest of the cups. Remelt the chocolate that was drained onto the silpat, add the crispy rice, and mix until the rice is fully coated. Spoon the mixture onto the filling, making sure you get full coverage and let it set. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slanchiva. This was a really, really good idea. That crispy rice adds a layer of crunchy texture that really adds to the experience. And flavor-wise, you got your standard peanut butter and chocolate, which you are never gonna hear me complain about. Mrs. Randy makes candy says that it tastes like five candies in one. I'll tell you what, compadres, if you're looking for a twist on a classic treat, you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the candy kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. As well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future. So close. Mrs. Randy makes candy says that it is.